All right, so picture this. We're in Brisbane, the skies turn gray, clap of lightning comes, the power goes out, you've got no power, what do you do? Battery systems. Hi, Dayton at Springer Solar. Today we're here to talk about the side and store modular battery systems. We're here in Brisbane, weather's pretty poor, it's raining, we're gonna have a look at some system performance. We're also gonna perform a blackout test to show you how well these perform. This is a unique site. We've got two dwellings on the one property. We've got roughly 28 kilowatts of solar panels spread across two houses. We've used Canadian 465 watt panels. These are our go-to panel for here in Brisbane. We're finding that they perform great and they meet a quality and price point that customers love. We're now installing the SIG Energy side and store systems. This is an incredible modular battery we're having incredible success with. Here we have a 10 and a 20 kilowatt inverter with 48 kilowatt hours of battery, 24 kilowatt hours per inverter in eight kilowatt hour stacks. This system can be increased to 96 kilowatt hours. We've got two inverters with two battery stacks all coordinated into one switchboard and one gateway. So we're getting asked, what is the product for me? Would you suggest this product? Absolutely. These products suit so many different applications. We've got on-grid, off-grid, three-phase, single-phase. We can integrate these with your existing solar or full greenfield new installation sites. These suit so many different applications. So you might be wondering where the inverters are on these systems. That's what this top portion is. This is the SIG Energy Energy Controller. We've got a 10 and a 20 here on this site. Some people also ask, how's my backup controlled? Let's buy the gateway, which is down here. Let's go and check that one out. So this here is a three phase SIG Energy backup gateway. So what does my gateway do? I'm glad you asked. This coordinates what your solar is doing, what's coming in from the grid, and specifically handles the blackout protection on this site. So here we have a whole pile of breakers. We've got grid and backup. These are to manage our flow of energy from the switchboard through here into the system to make sure that we can maintain power on grid and in a blackout situation. We've got a couple of breakers for inverters. You can do up to three inverters per gateway. There are custom ones available if you want more. We've also got a bypass switch that if anything goes wrong, we can flip that. It isolates your inverters from the grid. All right, so I'm just gonna get the Sigen app up on the phone and we can have a look at how this operates. So right now, even on a rainy day, we've got about 12 kilowatts of solar coming in and about 11 of that's going straight to the batteries. In a second, we're going to simulate a blackout and we can see how this continues to power the house while there's no grid available. All right, so on this site, there's a couple of subboards that come out of here. We've got the new house where all of this system is located. We've got the existing house uh, just a little bit up the property. And then we've also got a subboard in the carport, had some EV chargers and stuff. Didn't really need them in the backup circuits. So as we can see, alternative supply circuits, other things that are backed up. So when we switch off this main switch here, should continue to provide power to what's on those houses there. So right now we're just going to have a look at some of the data on how this works. As you can see we've got two systems in here indicating the two that are back up there. All right, so right now we're going to switch off the main switch and have power in the house. We'll see that the status changes from normal to off-grid and it tells us still how much the battery's got, but how many hours remaining. Doesn't give us the exact data anymore because it's no longer on grid. It's gonna figure that out as it settles into its off grid modes. And then we can see if we log into the gateway, it says it's in off grid mode. We can have a look at some of the rest of the devices on the system. They still tell us exactly what they're doing. If we click on the inverter, it says it's running at its normal capacity. It just is being managed by the gateway here. The inverter will continue to work as if we were in a normal powered state. So we've switched off the main switch. We're gonna go and have a look. We can see that lights are still on within the house. We're gonna look, we can see the change of status over here on the inverter. We can see here on both of these units, 
this little tab here has turned to blue, which indicates that we are currently in off-grid mode. We can also see that our batteries are still charging while we're not connected to the grid, while there's still energy usage within this house. So one of the options within the app is you can actually simulate a blackout from here as well. We can go into the gateway. We can use this button here to go off grid. Right now we're currently in that off grid mode. We're gonna click reconnect and it's gonna run through its systems again to make sure that it's going to bring that back up. Right now it has just clicked over. It is now back online. So a lot of people ask about how fast are the blackout circuits on my battery system. This one's really fast. This is flickering of LED, but not having to change the time on your microwave fast. So as you notice, these batteries are right out here in the weather. There's no eave that they're under. There's no covers over them. This is an IP65 rated system. This is on the south side of the house, so it doesn't get any direct sunlight having it out here in the open in the rain is no issues so in the last couple of months we had cyclone alfred come through brisbane we had a lot of people within different regions of brisbane lose power for up to five days seven days in some cases we had a lot of our battery customers with systems like this that were able to remain powered and continue to charge this system even on days like today where it's raining they're still getting enough energy in to replenish their battery systems keep going, remain energy independent while their neighbors are stuck in the dark. So I hope it's been helpful understanding a bit more about functionality of the SIG Energy Sige and Store system. We've seen how it performs, how it works in a blackout, what you can expect in your next cyclone. And if you're looking for a high quality installer with 23 plus years installing batteries and solar in houses across Southeast Queensland, please give us a call. Like, share, subscribe. Have a great day.